Hey guys, it is your girl Nikisha Brunson and you are watching At Home with Nikisha. Today I'm really excited to share this recipe with you guys because I get to share some of my culture. I am half Jamaican, I am a yard gal, if I said that right, <laughs> I'm a yardy gal, and my dad is from St. Andrews, and although my dad wasn't around when I was growing up, my mom always made sure that she cooked a lot of Caribbean food and that I was raised eating it. And because I also was raised in Brooklyn, the majority of West Indians in New York City live in Brooklyn. So there's a ton of great West Indian and Jamaican food. So today I'm gonna teach you how to make authentic Jamaican jerk sauce. Now I love to make jerk chicken, jerk fish is amazing, you could do jerk pork. I've never tried using jerk on tofu or veggies, but you can try that too. The best way to do this is with all these ingredients and I know it looks like a lot, but we're making authentic style. Now there are a ton of ingredients up here. It looks pretty crazy and I would say the prep time for this it was a pain in the behind. It takes forever, but it's worth it. Everybody makes their jerk sauce a little different, but what makes it authentic is that it has the main key ingredients. So the ingredients you're going to need are one small to medium onion chopped, five scallions chopped, three to five scotch bonnet or habanero peppers depending on how spicy you want your sauce, a tablespoon of fresh thyme, and two cloves of garlic, a teaspoon of fresh grated ginger, a half a cup of orange juice, a third cup of soy sauce, I use gluten free, a fourth cup of white vinegar, one lime squeezed, two tablespoons of vegetable oil, four to five tablespoons of brown sugar, two teaspoons of ground allspice, one teaspoon of cinnamon, one teaspoon of nutmeg, two teaspoons of sea salt, and a half a teaspoon of black pepper. You'll also need a food processor or a blender. I brought the big boy out for you guys today. I am using my Cuisine Art Prep 9, which means it's a nine cup food processor. And I'm just gonna add all the ingredients that I mentioned in to the mouth of the food processor. Black pepper. Now let's cover this bad boy and get to chopping. Now you wanna chop it up until it turns into a sauce, like a nice thick sauce. All right, and we're done. Let me tell you how you should store this. Store it in a glass, airtight container, and it will last you about up to a month. So I'm gonna take this, my funnel, because this gets a little messy when I'm trying to pour it. I'm just gonna pour it into my funnel there. So you wanna marinate your chicken in this sauce or your fish or your pork for at least two hours to get the full taste. If you do it less than that, it's not gonna get that full taste. But for maximum results, you should actually marinate, especially with chicken or pork, because it's thicker meat than fish, you should definitely marinate it, I would say, for two days. I marinated my little chicken drumsticks for a day now and I will show you guys here. I took a gallon Ziploc freezer bag, cleaned my little drumsticks, my little wing drumettes. After I cleaned them, I put them all in the bag. I added my jerk sauce. You wanna shake it and then just marinate it. I lined my pan with tin foil. You don't have to add any oil because remember we added vegetable oil in our jerk sauce. And I'm just gonna line up my drumsticks. 
smell so good. I smell all that onion and garlic and ginger and scallion and oh, it just smells so good. Now I'm gonna take my marinade that I just made. You guys will have extra marinade and just pour some on top or spoon some on top. You can put as little or as much as you want. I finished putting extra jerk sauce on all my chicken. I've set my oven for 375 and now I'm gonna bake for one hour and 20 minutes. It's been an hour and 20 minutes and our chicken is done. Now at the hour mark, I flipped over my chicken and I added more jerk sauce so it can evenly brown on both sides. Then, after my hour and 20 minutes, to get this nice deep brown color, I put on the broiler and left it for about another five minutes. Here's the finished result. It smells so good. Y'all don't understand how I'm gonna tear into this chicken tonight. And I also just decorated my little pieces of chicken with scallions. So if you have guests coming over and this is what you'd like to serve, it makes the dish look nice and pretty. This jerk chicken pairs really well with coconut rice and beans, some plantain on the side, and a nice big salad. So one of my videos coming up, I'm going to teach you guys how to make coconut rice and beans, but I'm going to do it the healthy way using brown rice and it tastes just as delicious. That's the end of the video. Until then, dance to some reggae music.